Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. 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 New. 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 <laughs> 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 Today is November 24th, 2021, and it's 3.42 a.m., video number two. So, all right, I went back to my homepage, 1,487. I think on my first one, I have 1,486. So, someone new just uh, subscribe. Welcome. I like to show the background for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, there it is. All right, let's go on Twitter to do video number two. Video number one was pretty long. a bit somewhat lighter okay more relaxed kind of thing the squad clowning a little bit all right there it is the height difference <laughs> that's the first one uh, let's look at the picture my goodness Harry is very tall that's definitely from Diana <laughs> she's saying the height different and look at the picture she put oh breathe in <laughs> and the screaming <laughs> wait until you see what I said all right, so that's the picture. But just clowning. All right, 15 people like what I said. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. They get the job done. 
Archie and Lily, or should be or oh, not is, Archie and Lily are the result of it. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Look at the GIF. <laughs> okay, so cute. Harry must be really tall because Megan is not that short. I remember the photos with the New York governor recently, and she was a lot shorter than Megan. Anyway, I'm tiny, so I can't relate. <laughs> Unrelated by Harry always looked good walking, like there's never a bad shot of him walking. His posture is always perfect. Okay, their hands are always aligned though. My husband is also quite a, a lot taller than me. And let me tell you, holding hands is sometimes uncomfortable. LOL. <laughs> but, uh, okay, not everybody like that. Okay, she's five foot six. That's pretty decent tall. Okay, and he is six one or two. Wow, that's very tall. Harry is tall. And the picture of um, when she was pregnant and she's holding Archie and Harry behind her. Oh my goodness, Harry was towering over her. You know? Well, guess what? It's better like that than having Megan so tall and Harry short. So it's perfect. Okay, love. <laughs> Why do the squad come with the CGIF? All those pictures, they put the tears, there's the water on the floor. <laughs> love. Harry has. Uh, spot, I guess, spot the enemy a mile away. Okay, that's the, okay. Harry has spot the, um, the enemy miles away. Okay, I noticed that earlier. Love it. Uh, effing sexy. I love it. Wow. I didn't realize he's that tall. They look fabulous. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, giving me a woman's novel vibes. Could imagine wrapping legs on his waist. Oh my God. the squad or something okay let's see there's the loving and she, she got a whole zaddy go ahead madam duchess oh yeah okay i love it all right let's go to the next tweet let's see here why did i pull uh, why did i bookmark to share all right sometime we need to grab the rain and stop letting others set the agenda for us the folks will keep you on the string constantly being outraged against its cells and it keeps you engaged meanwhile this bond was on fire. That is true. Let me see. I'm actually looking at it. That is true. Whoever did that spot on. <laughs> and he spotted. it. That's Professor. I haven't seen some of his tweet lately. He's been very busy. All right. You always tell the truth from your corner pulpit. <laughs> Say it louder for the folks in the back. <laughs> Those GIF. Get the palace and you came here, create, perpetrate, and weaponize the game. Then guys like the people. Yep. Uh, for some of you who are new, I have a video where I talk about how the media came about. I was looking into it and then even, you know, let me not change uh, shift gear here. That bond was snatched godly. Yeah. All right. There's this. Not watching. And I am in the UK and then I don't want to be another number in the BBC viewer figure. I'm grateful for the clips and comments from the squad. All right. It's exhausting watching the same old distraction stories with no correction from the pirates with the uh, press card. Okay, being bamboozled and uh, lead stray with fake outrage while the guys like continue. This clown show, uh, show enough, show enough? What is that? Show enough? No, they've got the uh, gullible audience. There's, okay, I completely agree with you, Professor. I'm bracing myself for if the switcher who comes. Okay, this one was elite. I also can't wait to see Lila live about her mom's signature earrings. All right, good morning, Professor. I hope you have a great day. True, but the justice is upsetting to everyone and it takes the likes to set a balance tone. Love the bond. You made my day and you're always on point. That bond was everything. Yep. Next tweet. Okay, I believe there's literally shit in the UK ocean. <laughs> That's me. All right, it was from here. It started here. I'm not going to go through all of this. Okay, what the heck? He needs to educate himself. How many kids does this pompous guy have? Okay, Prince William says uh, human population growth in Africa is harming wildlife. The growth in human population presents a huge challenge for conservatism in Africa, the Duke said. What the hell is he wearing? What's going on in Africa? I'll tell you, I think what's ha what happened here, okay? This is why he's very dangerous. He bring those politicians in to come and help him with his figure. Now, I think the politicians are using him. Okay? Puppet. Okay? He's become a puppet here. Whatever they want to say, they're using him to say it. What the hell? 
Okay? <laughs> there's me um, responding to that. I believe there's literally shit in the UK ocean. He doesn't care about that. All right, 27 people like it, and there's seven, uh, six we tweet. All right, let's see what some of the people are saying here. There's me again here. Okay, lol. It said you were uh, verified. Prince William said human population growth in Africa, humming wildlife. The, I mean, no, what's happening is human uh, behavior, okay, is affecting wildlife. Look what Heavy is advocating. What are they doing? They're drilling, uh, they, uh, Okovango or something like that. They're drilling, uh, uh, for oil and all of that. How drilling, we don't even need to know what they're doing is wrong because they have done it in other places that they've done they uh destroy the ecosystem so harry is advocating to prevent what we already know has happened from where they're trying to do in africa all right he picked the wrong fight maybe he's trying you know what thinking about it maybe is a balance that's what they're doing here, using William to balance of what Megan, uh, what not Megan, what Harry is advocating for, the Okovango, and then this idiot here who doesn't know. Well, how many kids does he have? He have three kids. All right, Harry has two. All right, so him, he should. There's a possibly another one that we don't know when we don't know about. Rumor has said. Okay, so this guy who's talking about Africa should mind his own business. Should mind his own business. Instead, we should advocate what Harry is saying because it's what Harry is advocating for is harming wildlife, not human, human um, growth. It's human behavior that's causing uh, harming wildlife. And Harry is on, uh, on the, you know, has the W on that, meaning the win for that. Okay, what is he going to do? Pull a Hitler and castrate all of us, fishmen. My goodness. Okay, sometimes I feel like sending this memo to KP. A closed mouth, gather the foot. <laughs> okay, think before you speak. <laughs> Let's see here. This is good. Okay, what he, he planning to do about it. And this is why I said there's that uh, thumbnails that I have. Why the storm is coming. And then you got the UK flag. And it's him. They're using him to do this nonsense here. Okay, wait, is this from yesterday and not from when Kate was pregnant and he had verbal diarrhea? Please say is it so. Let's see here. When did he say it? Okay, seven hours. There's no specific time. When they say seven hours, it could be any time. Okay, Prince William has renewed his attack. Okay, renewed his attack on population growth in Africa, blaming it for destroying wildlife on the continent. Freaking mind your, go worry about what's going on and, and the shit in your ocean. Okay, critics have accused the prince of hypocrisy for making such claim while expecting his third child. Okay, Prince William blamed African population. <laughs> he is so freaking clueless. So freaking clueless. He needs to stick his nose someplace else. Africa is not his business. Yep, how many kids does he have living their best life for free? The audacity of this waste of space. <laughs> Oh my God, he really thinks that he's special. Okay, he really thinks so. <laughs> LOL, he's starting this again. All right, Let, they put that again. So that's back then. Uh, my husband told me about this today and dismissed him, thinking he was winding me up again. <laughs> There's that. What the heck indeed? He needs to get out of our business. Yep, that's in French. Oh, when was this? Before or after he had the third ch uh, children? Yeah, I know about more than three. Okay, there's the rumor here. Okay, again, what the f is wrong with this with this colonizer? <laughs> I'm telling you, he's another word. I mean, another thing that I'm seeing here, he's closing. I hate to say that, but he's closing doors of opportunity for him because at some point, UK, if he looks. At, uh, if you look at uh, his grandfather, okay, um, what's his name? Uh, Prince Philip, how he was kicked out of uh, Greece. And I see this is what's about to happen in the UK for him. And as his thing getting closer, people's eyes are opening, he's closing more doors for himself. Where is he going to go if people are really hating on him? Where is he going to go? I don't know. This is what I'm seeing here. 
Okay, he didn't say that he'll try to punk us. <laughs> People putting that. That's the receipt here. Okay, this man needs to keep his eyes, ears, body, and hands and mouth far away from the entire African continent. Yep, what about the safari hunting that many European and their descendants do and did? Yeah, whenever they want to do their sport game, they go to Africa to do the thing. And I know some of you are going to say, what about Harry and this and that? Harry have learned. That's the thing here. There's a difference between people who have learned and those who continue. All right? We have as recently as not too long ago, a couple of years ago, I don't know when the picture came, where he went hunting. Um, um, we just saw this uh, dead bird in his hand. Okay? This is a guy who have no clue. I have a picture of that. Him and his wife. And then they're bringing those young ones to go uh, hunting with them. All right? Okay, colonizer with four kids. <laughs> All right, that's the rolling eye. Let me move on. Oh my God, I have. Let me see how many. Okay, I don't have that much because I did an hour plus video here. Okay, more briefing to deny briefing is brief section. All right, Prince William was clear from the start. We were never to brief and go against royal. All right, there's me putting this here. The storm is coming. There's that thing here. All right, there's me responding again. Three people like it. Okay, question. Mr. Future Future, you said you never brief against royal, right? Answer, yes, I never brief against royal. Question, is it true you never considered Megan a royal and she had to go back to work, acting, etc.? <laughs> That's the question, an open eye. Question, which means there's a possibility you might have brief against Megan, right? <laughs> Technically, Megan is not a royal in your eyes, right? I was like, come on, you can say it. All right, that's me saying that. Then why do those call themselves royal reporters, Camilla Tamney, Angela Levine, Dick Arbiter, or credit royal sources as confirming their stories? Uh, Tamney specifically confirmed the Megan made Kate cry story was KP. <laughs> There's another one. From now on, every time a journalist, clown, quotes royal sources, we should post, yes, royal brief journalist, okay? Or some such uh, hashtag okay with bullion's face attached to the hashtag or hashtag palace source okay i walked to a briefing in the middle of a briefing about not briefing <laughs> the square brief gate there's that what is it when he made that uh press conference about uh, the bbc about his mom is a panoa and all of that he was briefing oh my god i'm telling you they're making they're turning him into a clown he doesn't see that i'm telling you when these people are planning that the, everything is perfect in their heads until it come out people let them notice their nonsense all right she always have some funny posts here heavy and megan expose how living outside of the uk means upgrading the house is better their life is better and even the security team is better with bodyguard cakes <laughs> With bodyguard cakes by their side, I don't even fear for Megan's security if she ever set foot on that island. <laughs> That's me responding. <laughs> Down here, you are too much. But I love cake. I really love cake. I really, really love cakes. <laughs> okay, I believe one of the hidden agendas by the rich and powerful, greedy elites is to get Harry and Megan's back or have them re-establish some type of way to the UK so they could profit of them and bring millions, if not billions, into the country. Believe me, they are not happy Harry and Megan left. You know what? They, that's what we think. All right? Once they lure them in, what they're going to do? They're going to pretend none of the nonsense that they put them to happen. They're going to continue because it's their nature, it's in their blood. Okay? Megan already learned her lesson. Once is enough. All right? Harry uh, have put up with that before. He's immune to it. He, you know, but Megan, not so much. I think Megan is in her happy place here. And I think Harry also. I think Harry have said in one of those interviews that uh, he wish he had done that four years before. All right, so he got he got the hang of it. I don't think he's gonna go back, and I don't think he wants his kid to uh, subject to that same kind of uh, hate that's going on here. You know, as I'm editing this video and all those pictures that I'm putting related to some of the thing that I already recorded uh, that matches some of the thing that I was saying, and I'm thinking how I could see in the future <laughs> not that I have a crystal ball, but. Uh, Harry's kids, little bit Diana and Archie, 
gonna love the father even much more than we could possibly love a father this is not i'm not talking about megan take megan out of this picture because harry's life have been so documented since the he was born from the time he left the hospital till now his entire life have been documented so seeing some of those pictures where harry you see his face looks so angry as the paparazzi trying to take pictures of him and all of that and i could see his kids are gonna appreciate him more as they get older and understand the life that his uh, their dad meaning harry have left to protect them to have them and uh you know and cherish uh, their privacy and all of that. So I could see little bit Diana and Archie appreciate Harry's, um, um, you know, presence even more. And in the future, when we're looking back and when they're talking about their dad, when they're doing interviews, I'm pretty sure at some point, as much as we may deny it or whatever, they're going to be carrying on some sort of a public service in some shape or form. So I could see if they're being interviewed in a control setting, not paparazzi trying to catch them or anything like that. Uh, let's say it may not be Oprah. Oprah may not be exist when, by that time. Is that they're sitting, talking to a, a reputable re, um, a journalist, asking them questions, how they explaining how their dad was those kind of thing that those reporters trying to get intruding into their life we're gonna hear from um, archie and little bit the kind of life that harry and megan provide for them um as you know the privacy that they protecting them and i don't know if i'm saying it properly uh or conveying my thought properly is that the private life that they're living now I could see in the future, I may not be around by that time, in the future, little bit Diana and Archie telling the world the uh, that life that they had growing up with Harry and Meghan, this kind of thing, how they cherish it, the silliness that we probably uh, never heard of, the kind of fun that they did. You know, sometimes I insert my nonsense into things where I will say, uh, the cooking in the kitchen, doing things and that, this kind of thing. We're going to hear it from them, okay, from little bit Diana and Archie, how their parents were as a, uh, when they were a child and things like that. I hope I make sense. But they're going to appreciate uh, uh, Harry even more to see the life and privilege that he left and the privacy he did not have as a child, but them, little bit Diana and Archie, got to experience you know to be themselves to be kids kids make mistakes kids think they know the world but harry and megan are protecting them from the world to know it so they don't use their mistake against them like they do with um uh, harry and um and his brother and stuff like that i don't know if i make sense but as i was looking at those pictures that thought came to me all right that's this that's for comment here how could they get harry and megan back or even be established especially with sunken island reminding the world every day why the Sussexes were right to leave. That's right. What I'm thinking has to do with this saying, quote, behind greeds lies evil. I will say no more for now. Okay, just keep watching. Okay, they are not happy Harry left. They want him, need him back and in position where he can be controlled. I think in one of my videos, I said, the only way the UK will get back together I think Harry will be the only one to do that. And um, can you imagine if Harry goes back and run for uh, prime? I don't know. How do they run for, for prime minister? Do they, uh, how do they say that? Do they uh, uh, vote for prime minister? Or I think somewhere I saw is member of parliament who vote for the prime minister, not the people or something like that. So I don't know. All right. Let's see here. Um, Okay, they are not happy Harry left. They want him, they need him back and in position where he can be controlled. <laughs> That's right. So it's them, they want control. They want to control Harry. To remain the yes man, the cash cow, the workhorse and the idea man. Hmm. All right. They're not gonna get that. All right, there's the laugh. They're not coming back. Harry is now a package deal. Little England needs to get over itself. Yep. All right, let's go to the next one. 
the thing is that the UK is so invested to their hate and is in their blood, is in their system. I don't think uh, they'll ever learn. Okay, I love it when they talk. That's the next tweet. I love it when they talk. We know who the real culprit are. Okay, there's a screenshot of Dan Mouton that was March 3, 2021. Okay, as one of the journalists at the forefront of reporting on the fallout between Meghan and Harry with the royal family, make no mistake that William is aware of a great deal of what went on. It played a significant role in the breakdown of his relationship with his brother. All right, there's receipt everywhere. They were so addicted to the engagement Megan's name brought them, they couldn't stop talking. For this, I'm grateful. There's a clap. Get interesting. Why can't they just report and not give their opinion? Whatever. Uh, why he confirmed everything in the documentary is true, but try to distance will not from it. There's the ruling eye. Okay, will not, the main culprit, he is jealous of Harry, doesn't make and cause she is smart, intelligent, outspoken, proactive, and uplift Harry. Harry is no longer the scapegoat and funny spare. <laughs> funny spare. All right, let's see here. Megan makes Harry think differently. Yep. Yep. What was it? I have a, a, a what is it? A thumbnail, something about uh, uh, Harry, uh, Megan make him aware or something like that. I'll put the... Uh, the thumbnail. Okay, Harry is no longer a scapegoat and funny spare. Okay, Megan makes Harry think differently. She makes him see himself as so much more than the spare, which make it more difficult for the institution and the media to manipulate and control him. Like I said, Harry grew up in that, so he was immune to it. All right? But once Megan came into the picture and said, nah, that's not going to fly with me. And uh, if he wanted her, he had to change. All right. I don't think Megan made him change. It's just that her, Megan was not putting up with this nonsense. All right. So he changed himself for Megan. Okay. Of course, even a toddler knows that. Okay. Wooten is one of the editors William invited to KP. No doubt. Okay. So grateful for the Sussex squad. Really do feel we made a difference. Then let them get away with bullshit. Had we see it. Thank you, Michelle, Tina. Yep. Thank you, Michelle and Tina, others for your leadership. That is true. I have to give Tina and Michelle so much and V also. I think I came across V's, uh, uh, V's one podcast first before Tina and Michelle podcast because V and one of V's uh, podcasts, she was like, she was encouraging people to go out there, create content and all of that. I, even after I heard that, I wasn't really into doing any podcast. Then I came across uh, Tina and Michelle and came to find out it was Tina and Michelle who were the first one who saw the nonsense right out of the gate. And they were the first one to put the shield around Harry and Meghan. They hold the front and then little at a time, more people is backing them up. More people is backing them up. And then until I, I mean, then I started listening to, um, what's his name? Uh, Hugo's channel. Okay. And I think at that time, Hugo was putting, uh, videos on a daily basis. And then I used to just go there and comment because I was seeing some nonsense being posted. And I was, people will literally would think I was a troll because I thought they were just nonsense. And then I realized there was something missing. That was true. Even though V was saying to put podcasts out there, uh, other squad were uh, encouraged uh, people to put other podcasts. That wasn't the one that really got me. It's to Hugo's channel. I was reading comment and I felt something was missing. That's how, when I decided to start putting little thing at a time. And the thing was that I wanted to do research videos. Okay, educate myself about the royal family and stuff like that. And then I came across Twitter. I had my Twitter account since 2009. Okay, my main Twitter account, not this one, my main Twitter account. And then uh, I didn't even know how to use Twitter. I was seeing some squad uh, putting comments and stuff like that. Some of them were so funny. And I was like, it's worth sharing. And then through that, some squad were saying, I'm not on Twitter. Put more out, put more out. For some of you who's new to this channel, I'm constantly putting this story out there. This is how it came about. You see, uh, tweets almost every day because I'm on Twitter every day. I want to know what's going on with the squad. That's the shape of thing, the steps into having reinvent my channel. If you go back, I believe 2019 or 2020, all right, you will see I was post posting things about President Obama, 
randomly some nonsense that were going on in the U.S. People were fighting. <laughs> People were fighting. They were so stupid, and I turned it into something else. So these were the videos that I was putting out, and then the tweet become the norm. Uh, and then I create a backup because once YouTube realized that uh, I'm posting some really good shit here, so they start you know put a tight rope on my thing and then i create a backup account where sometimes i just throw things uh, anything that uh, they prevent not really prevent me uh they don't want me to monitor uh to make money off i just throw it on the other channel all right so that's that <laughs> that was a long story okay we all know the do little jealous was being the attack leak to the media why are they afraid to say it out loud chuck and will know that they need to media to build them up Okay. They need the media to build them up so the people on the salty island keep supporting them. Yeah, what is it? This is true. And that goes back to those two, uh, the, the link where Prince Charles is taking William to parties to uh, get acquainted with the uh, media and stuff like that. Since William was a teen, so Prince Charles was uh, uh, teaching William to be meddling with the media. All right, so to get good press, Harry wasn't like that. Harry was like, I'm going to be me. You either, either like me or not. All right, and this is what the people like. And I've said in other videos, in order for the monarchy to stay afloat, is for the people. All right, not to, uh, uh, to make the media like you. No, it's the people. Once the people like you, you are fine, no matter what the media said. And this is exactly what's happening to Harry. Some of you, go back to some of my old tweet videos. That's exactly what I've been saying. And this is why Harry is still love around the world. Because the people, it's the people who likes it. Look at this. You have so many squad, okay, who don't even have the same mic as the tabloid and all of that. But William has those tabloid at his disposal. How come Harry is more um, like where so many people like me and V? and Tina and Michelle, or put it podcast out there because they want to. Nobody's putting a gun to their head to say, let's talk about Harry and Meghan, okay? Because they see the, the hurt, the nonsense that's going on. So they're doing it with their heart, okay? All of the squad who putting um, positive uh, content about the squad, about the Sussexes, is to their heart. This is what William doesn't have. When you see all the hate that is happening, guess how they uh, they get those people to uh, what is it to put those negative comment out uh, content out there? This is why YouTube is giving them incentive, okay, letting them monitor monetize their uh, their hate so they could keep on putting. But guess what? People are not flacking to it. They're making money, but yet people are not really flacking to them as much as they do it to Megan and Harry. All right, look at all the blackage. If I go to, let me show you right now as I'm talking. All right, let me go to my contents. You're going to see a whole bunch of yellow. All right, there's all those videos, yellow, limited, 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 limited. All right, see, this is not what really um, pushing me to do that. I'm still putting those content out there. All right, they want to see what I'm putting out there first before they could allow me to make money. And then, and this is why I have to put, uh, a time frame on it look at this nobody is viewing it all right nobody have viewed them yet to at least i know that they're looking at them but uh all right and then later on they realize oh it's okay they could do it or whatever the nonsense is behind their head here look at this this video is being reviewed all right 600 people already seen it all right it's limited all right, this is the thing here in terms of the limitation. This video is running limited or no ads due to the content identified as a suitable, not suitable for most advertisers. It remains fully playable and eligible uh, to earn subscription revenue from YouTube. What does that mean? If I have where you guys have to pay to see my um, videos or something like, you want to support me through YouTube or something like that, that's how you could see it. But the thing is that, Look at it. I'm going on Twitter freely. Squad or putting content. I don't want people uh, to uh, how do you call this to uh, to pay to see my stuff or something like that, or for me to make money off of it. I want to make money of it off of them freely, the way it should be, the way the YouTube is putting for people to earn money off of it. All right. 
And then what they want to do here also is that because YouTube get a cut, okay? YouTube get a cut off of those paid subscription. It's not all of the money is coming to me. All right? This is why I put the, the PayPal link in the description. If you want to support me, go to the PayPal because YouTube is preventing me to earn money freely on those videos. So in order for me to make money on it, they want a cut on it. I'm like, nope, you're not going to make a cut of it. E either I make no money of it or you're not going to get a cut off of it. Anybody who wants to support me could just go to um, PayPal, even though PayPal is getting a cut from of that. All right. So I don't want YouTube to get a cut of uh, any videos that I make unless if I'm earning it freely, fairly, because the squad are putting the thing out there freely. I, I know some squads said they're not on PayPal and all of this. I, I don't know. I don't want to put so many things out there to earn money and stuff. Just PayPal. PayPal is good enough. All right, so I branch out a little bit here. Let's go to the next tweet. Uh, after this one, I have one more and then a prayer. Okay, so celebrity enjoy a concert or psycho fans. That's the willing eye. Okay, it's no wonder British entertainer go on Oprah first. So why it? Let's see here. What are the, there's no comment under it. Um, someone just like one of the things that I just said. Let me go to home. See if anything new is popping up. I'm not sure what they're talking about. Ten hours ago. Okay, William is directly proving the entire thesis of the documentary that the warrior use access and information to shape media coverage about them. All right, so the last one that I just put, I don't know anything about it. I thought more people would be smart. So this one is something else. All right, William and Kate Manitan, Ben BBC from screening Christmas Carol concert amid fury over world documentary. Oh, this is new. This just happened. Because, oh my God, because uh, BBC didn't let them see the documentary. So they prevent. <laughs> this is so freaking childish. So they prevent that. Oh, guess what? BBC is not getting any um, coverage for, um, was it viewership from people anyway about them. So they're not losing anything. When was that? November 23rd. That was yesterday. Okay, Prince William and Kate Middleton banned BBC from screening Christmas Carol concert amid fury over world documentary, uh, 23rd November, 2020, 2021. Okay, same thing. Okay, instead, the charity fundraiser hosted by the Duchess at Westminster Abbey will be shown on ITV. I, I think the squad who's over there should go uh, on the day that they're doing this on ITV go to BBC and watch that uh, documentary if I don't know how they uh, they view those things. Okay, so that's what they should do. These people are freaking ridiculous. It will probably be boring. Thanks anyway. So no great loss for BBC. That's a lie. This is what I was saying. Get pretty sure there'll be more exciting stuff on offer, stuff that people actually want to sit down and watch. They really think they are the shit. <laughs> Okay. They kept lying to us that Harry was the dumb one. William proves every day that intelligence is not his forte. The son is admitting that this is all William and that Queenie and Chuck were being used as cover in that statement. He expects to live in a universe where they sing him praises. <laughs> well, this is one way to advertise you are having a Christmas concert. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody really knew. It doesn't make sense though. How do you ban BBC from screening it if there was an agreement to do so? I mean, we constantly told all this warrior stuff is planned months in advance. That was a really good point this person uh, bring in terms of agreement. They usually make uh, certain the plan of whatever it is that they're doing months ahead of time. So if this were to come just now, how all of a sudden they're banning them? You know, so this person make a good point. I didn't think about it that way. That is true. So, all right, there's two comments here. Yeah, thanks for telling us about the Carol concert. We didn't know about so we can avoid. There's a laugh at Kate hosting a Carol concert. Future, future. There's the <laughs> Did anyone even know there was going to be a Carol concert? Never knew it was a thing. Would have have uh, watched it anyway, regardless of channel. Okay, hoping part two can be edited before it was shown next week. Okay, or that it will be screened so they can preemptively attack its, con 
it content. Okay, so William and Kate can avoid press. They don't like, and there's no problem. But if Harry and Meghan do it, okay, they're trying to control the narrative. All they're uh, doing is proving the documentary is telling the truth. <laughs> there is that. They seem to only be able to be angry at BBC, never the tabloid. Okay, is Duke empty scalp throwing another hissy fit? <laughs> That's some funny shit. BBC doesn't care. When they air uh, Williams' well shit show, they lost viewers and that usual time slot. They decided that they didn't want to be on the uh, low rating team anymore. Yeah, they learned their lesson. Yep, BBC learned their lesson. Hopefully, others are capable of learning as well. Yep, I'm not over there, but I think that's what's happening. Okay, the rating for their stuff is terrible to begin with. This move, this move is gonna have the numbers and the basement. <laughs> Those are bullseye numbers. Dreadful. We're dreadful. Watch the unintended consequences be that the BBC or whoever starts running head pieces on William so they can get banned from covering him because he's dull and doesn't bring high rating. So I see exactly what he's saying. So now that they saying they're banning BBC from covering him because they're not even making money anyway of covering him. So they're going to make sure to put nonsense about him. Uh, now I'm editing this video a couple of days after I recorded that. There's pictures of him uh, coming out of a nightclub like 7.30 a.m. or something like that with someone else. So they're going to start doing this kind of thing for William to tell them, don't cover me anymore, this kind of thing. So they need to make money. So they're gonna, they're doing a reverse psychology on him here. He doesn't know uh, uh, what he's dealing with. <laughs> I mean, he should know, he's old enough, but uh, we know that's not the truth. He didn't ban them. It was already planned ahead of time. Um, now that I'm editing it a couple of days later, I know the truth behind that is, uh, there was already things set. Uh, ahead of time. All right, so that's it. Let me continue with the recording. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so they're gonna make sure to get banned from him so they could get their viewership back. <laughs> okay, they're doing the uh, how do you call this? Uh, uh, reverse psychology on him, and he's playing right along with it. Okay, they are stomping their feet and having a big pile again. For BBC having the nerve to ask questions and now the Cambridges are punishing the BBC for not kissing their asses well enough spoil Brad the two of them <laughs> that's the lie oh when the table turned they certainly can dish it but can't take it okay his statement will have been a threat before the rating numbers of his Earthshot documentary <laughs> that is true <laughs> that's the laugh here team rocket strike again <laughs> If William and Catherine wants to end negative coverage, they should start being such a repugnant creatures. All right. Earth's not caused the loss of millions of viewers. Ken and Karen are a yearn. So why will BBC care? BBC can run the Ellen interview again and knock the Lambridge's clan to the ban. Honestly, these two have inflated image of themselves. Yep. <laughs> All right, who will be telling the languages that no one cares about their lame asses Christmas concert? You know what they should do? What BBC should do is buy the right from Ellen to show the, the video that Megan did over there and put it on the same time over there. That would be epic. That would have been epic. <laughs> Who will be telling the languages that no one cares about the lame asses Christmas concert? <laughs> I didn't know I was going to come across this. Okay, and the BBC breathed a sigh of relief. <laughs> Thank God. Now we can focus on something that will draw rating, not bore everyone to death, and quote, not quite the flex William thought it would be. Okay, exactly. And this is a big mistake. They prove with Earthshot that they don't pull viewers and not that it's on ITV. It will, uh, it will annoy the few viewers they get with the ads every 15 minutes. Okay, or no, not the Christmas Carol concert. There's a laugh. How will BBC ever recover from such a devastating blow? Okay, when BBC tried to help William with his vanity project, Earth Flap, it flapped, so they won't miss anything. <laughs> Oh my God, that's in French. Makes me want to have me and my friends tune in for BBC for the of it. Even if we do something, just turn it on, LOL. <laughs> People are playing with them nonsense. I don't live there, but 
it can be added to channel for the night. Yeah, that's a plan. <laughs> that deserve a laugh. Okay, is there? Okay, is this a new way to drum uh, up interest and in something that no one knew of or care about? I bet it'll be another flap though. Hopefully, if it flap, whatever they are trying to do. Okay, they just keep shooting themselves in the foot over and over. All right, that's in French. That's the <laughs> truth hurts, I guess. The royal family bad at many things, but when it comes to strategy, tactic, negotiation, or when to best reveal your hand, they are just dismally incompetent. It's the people they put around them. What is it? They're uh, setting them for failure. Case in point, tuning down half and a half down. When you burn a bridge, you can no longer control the other side. Yep. With, with this comment, now that we know the consequences of everybody's action, we could say that, right? But at the time, just remember, it's for centuries and centuries the monarch have been seen as this prestige, high level kind of thing. Okay? So they thought, they thought they had the upper hand. Okay? Nobody ever tested them. That's the thing. Nobody ever tested their strength, their, uh, their capacity of stuff. So again, now that we see the outcome of their choices, their decision, we could easily say that. But when they wanted something, they thought they were the shit. But they had someone within their own house who know how the thing works. That's the thing here. It's not like Harry is doing any major tactical thing with them, saying, I'm going to plot this and plot that for you to fail. No. Harry just literally took his stuff and moved. So these are the people, the royal family, they never been tested. So when Harry decided to leave, and I've said many things about that uh, once they left, that he put his trust on Megan. I still believe in that. And they are hard worker. They will do stuff and things like that. It was a very scary move, a very scary move on Harry's part. Okay, and also Megan, and depend on how you see it, which angle you want to see it. But for Harry, it was a very uh, scary part for moving uh, and take, you know, his family away. But the thing is that he knows the pain, he already experienced the pain. So any pain after that, it's okay to experience it because the one that he already experienced was too painful to go through. So he did not want his family to go through that. Now, when it comes with the royal family, the thing is that nobody ever tested them. They always thought they were the shit, they were this, they were that. But uh, once Harry left, a good portion of people left with Harry. Okay, so now we could easily say it was uh, a big mistake. Yes, it was. It was because... They were not uh, making deal out of good faith. That's the thing here. They were not making deal with Harry out of uh, good faith. They were doing deal out of spite. That's the thing. And then we get to see the consequences of their spitefulness. They didn't see the ripple effect of stuff. Okay? But at the time, no one ever really tested them. Uh, what is it? Uh, I think um, the Queen's sister, whatever, is it Margaret or something like that, couldn't leave. Uh, they probably let her give her the option to leave and saying, we're not going to support you, this and that, da, 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 to scare her. So she never tests the institution. Only Harry did. Okay? Harry uh, took the bluff and said, okay, you don't want half in and half out, then I'll leave. And then they thought that they were the men, meaning the institution. So once Harry left, you see that everything is being crumbling. And what makes it even worse for them is that they didn't accept Harry's wife, who is a biracial, and majority of their Commonwealth are not pure white. They're not pure white, so they didn't think about that. So with this comment, it's, it makes sense now, after the fact. But during, during uh, when everybody was making their move, it's really hard to think of it that way. I don't know if I'm making sense. And also to add to it is that I also think the royal family was banking on having Trump re-elected. There's a lot of things I could say about this, but I'm not going to say. I just want to add one more piece. Is that they were hoping or banking on having Trump re-elected. That's all I'm going to say. 
but anyway let's get back to the video i'm trying to finish editing but i'll keep on adding more stuff all right all right there's a laugh that deserves a, li uh, a like too oh dear me thank this is such an overreaction i thought they was actually quite tame and compared to the reality anyway off to pull out the degradation for christmas starts december 1st get the house got to get popped right after thanksgiving probably because it was going to be bomb anyway <laughs> all right let me read this and move on is it the uh, the van strawberry concert that done every year no it's apparently their own event okay because <laughs> the last event they had did so well and the rating <laughs> but there's so much more let me move people are just laughing they was like okay thank god you don't want that my goodness they really think they were really that good all right next tweet okay on the subject of briefing from the palaces just to remind all of you why that oprah interview was done in the first place all right there's this 22nd I don't know how they could expect that after all of this time we would still just be silent if there is an active role that the firm is playing in perpetuating falsehoods about us. And if that comes with risk of losing things, I mean, I've, there's a lot that's been lost already. I don't know And I think this is perfect. Expect. That's the perfect thing. I've said it uh, when haters are commenting on stuff and I was like, the whole point Okay, and this is what this quad is saying here. The whole point of the open interview, not only uh, the tabloid, the nonsense that they were putting on the tabloid, and uh, Megan had and Harry had to say their part. Okay, set the record straight. And then the worst thing is that it's the report effect of thing. They turn a blind eye. They turn a blind eye on so many things, miss opportunity after miss opportunity, and then they are pretty much, you know, going in the gutter. All right. It's not to take a point. You okay, squad is over. I mean, every squad saw it. Okay, it's not like I have a crystal ball in my head. Every single squad saw it, but them, but them. Whoever is advising them, I'm telling you, they're setting them for failure. Good. That's to comment here, and then I'll do a prayer. Okay, I feel so sad for for her especially, but happy that she's in a good place. Harry is a white man. He will always be okay. They will always go easy on him. Too many white people or cruel racism uh, is their specialty. Okay, I love every minute of it. All right, let's go to prayer. What should I do? Prayer for, let's say prayer for truth. Okay, for truth. The last one I said blind. Uh, let's say truth and justice. Truth to be revealed, truth and justice. All right, prayer for justice. Grant us, Lord. Uh, grant us, Lord God, a vision of your world as your love will have it, a world where the weak are protected and none go hungry or poor, a world where peace is built with justice and justice is guided by love. Give us the inspiration and courage to build it to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I think that fits perfectly. Let's pick an image. All right, let's do this one. All right. Let's see here. Friend, do not avenge yourself. Instead, leave room for his wrath. For it is written, vengeance belongs to me. I will repay, said the Lord. All right. So I think I'm going to stop here. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. And if you want to support my channel, there's a PayPal link in the description. And, and those who have donated, thank you. That's it. Now it's time for me to do some editing.